All right, guys, this is uh, my first of hopefully many car reviews. Um, it's kind of dorky. We're going to do a <laughs> car review on my 2002 Mercury Grand Marquis. Um, this car is currently my daily right now. My parents bought this car brand new. Um, at the time, I suppose this was, you know, fully loaded minus the uh, CD player. It uh, You had the option for a six-disc CD changer. Who in the heck would want to change their CDs in the trunk? A six to CD changer in the trunk. I don't. I, I don't know. It blows me away. My wife's Nissan had six to CD changer in the center console. Ford. I don't, I don't know what they were thinking, but other than that, it's got you know uh, leather seats, heated outside mirrors. Um, the Rear view mirror here is kind of fancy. It's got a little compass on it, you know, so in case you know what direction you're going, which, let's be honest, you know, no one really knows where north, south, east, and west is anymore, apparently, and they're lucky to know, even know who our president is. I'll just be completely honest. Um, it's pretty sad. But, um, other than that, you know, it's, uh, nothing spectacular. Um, I guess let's take this thing for a spin and see how she does. So, uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize to you guys. Uh, there's a few of you that had been watching my videos, and I say a few of you, I don't, I don't really know how much there is, how many there are, but, you know, there's, there's been some people that point out to me that they have been bummed I have not been making any videos. Um, currently, I've been a little busy right now. I'm remodeling a house uh, that was in my, it's been in my family for 50 years in South County. Um, that's been a work in progress. I also work full time at Ford, and uh, I have recently joined the museum, the National Museum of Transportation, and I am doing uh, restoration work for them. So that has been neat, and it has been taking up a lot of my time. Plus, I've been remodeling my wife's grandmother's house here and there, um, doing some things. So it, it's been a little chaotic. So I haven't exactly had time for a video, but. You know, I was hoping we were out. Initially, I wanted to start off my first video with my uh, buddy's Mustang. I don't want to go into detail about it because I want you all to be surprised when you see this car. It is, uh, it is really something pretty neat. But um, I'll just leave it at that. It's, it, it, it will, it will, it will surprise you. So, what we're gonna do is uh, go over this car just a little bit. Um, pretty basic. It, it's, it's a pretty basic Grand Marquis. Nothing crazy. You know, a little, little highway pull here. Um, it is got, as far as suspension goes, I have modified it recently. It is pretty hard to modify these cars. Um, a lot of guys over the front don't lower the rear because, well, honestly, a lot of them don't know how. And it's really not that hard. Um, I ended up getting police or separate front springs for this car. Cut them about, cut about seven eighths of a coil off, and uh, on the rear, I have Mustang GT500 springs. Um, I end up getting a used set. Got no, you know, they work fine. I end up uh, making my own insulators for it. Um, if you use the factory, if you just use the GT500 springs with no insulators, you will the the. The tire will set, I guess, well, I guess depending on what tire you use, the tire will set a little in the quarter panel, um, which is fine, but I, I didn't want my rear a little lower than the front of my car, so I actually made my own set of insulators, raised the car up just a little bit, so I ended up going with like about a two inch drop all the way around, I got maybe about a half an inch gap between the tire and the fender and the quarter panel. Um, Along with that, I also have Bilstein HD shocks all around on this thing. Um, it's got a performance improved Ford Racing intake manifold, along with a Mustang GT throttle body ported. It also has a K&N filter and Sherry Bomb muffler. Um, and to be honest, it's really not that loud because, man, that glare is awful. I'm so sorry. Um, it's really not that loud because this thing has four catalytic converters on it. If I were to uncork two of them, I'd probably get some decent tone out of this thing. But, you know, let's be honest, this is my daily and 
and all my other cow- cars are just ridiculously loud and I really don't want my wife getting, you know, irritated that every car I own has to be piss loud. Um, I like my marriage. I like to keep it that way. So I think this thing is going to stay quiet. Um, as far as mods, I'm not done yet. Um, it's got Mustang Bullet, uh, five spoke, 17 inch wheels on it with a 235, 50, 17 inch tire. Um, you know, it handles pretty good, um, for what it is. I like to get a set of, uh, gears this thing. Maybe some, uh, some boost, you know, that's, that's been the, uh, plan here recently. Um, when we're going to do the boost, I'm not quite sure. You know, I, 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 I'll be completely honest once again, I feel really sorry for my wife. Because every car I own, or well, we own, whatever, we own. It's, it's our cars. Granted, some of the cars I own, she really doesn't, you know, want any part of. But our cars, I have a hard time not modifying. Her Fusion, for example, we bought it brand new. Within months, I already started modifying it. I just, I can't help myself. It's, I have a problem. I have a problem. Every car I own, I gotta modify. It's just, you know, my 73 Cougar. It's modified. Like, it's still original, but it's got a cam in it. <laughs> I, I can't I can't not leave them. I can't leave them. I just can't leave them factory. It just, just drives me nuts. Um, I'm going off topic. I apologize. But, I mean, as far as this car goes, um, you know, the acceleration isn't great. It's nothing insane. Um, you know, it's not bad. You know, whopping 200 and... 10, 220 horsepower on a good day when it was new. You know, this thing's got 136,000 on it. Um, how much of that power is still there? I, I don't know. This car sat for like, you know, five years and didn't run and I had to put a bunch of work into it to even get it running because if all of you didn't know, my dad was sick for a really long time and uh, before he passed away, he could drive for years. So this car just sat and, um, that's a whole other topic, but regardless, you know, these cars, if you're a true car guy, and I'm not saying this because this is the second Panther platform I've owned, which is Crown Vic, Town Car, Grand Marquis. Um, I had a Crown Vic before this, that was my first car, and then now I own this Grand Marquis as my daily. Um, if you're a true car guy, I feel like you almost have to appreciate these cars. Like, granted, are they old people cars? Are they cop cars? Are they fleet vehicles? Yeah, but I mean, the thing is, it's a V8 car, rear wheel drive with a Ford 88 rear end, full frame chassis. I mean, you, you can't you can't do any better than that. I mean, you could take this thing, drifting, drag racing, rally racing. I promise you, I've done all of them in my old Crown Vic. I plan to do it to this one, but I'd rather not get a ticket and, you know, go to jail. So, for now, this thing's just going to stay on the road and we're just going to make it a daily. But, you know, it's just, if you're a real car guy, these cars are so plentiful. They're cheap to modify. They're reliable. I mean, are they powerhouses? Not really, to be, to be honest. You know, I think, personally, the 4.6.2 valve was probably one of the best sounding V8s ever if you uncork them and put a good exhaust on them. I think that's not amazing, especially cam. I mean, the thing is, are you going to get a bunch of power of it? No. And I mean, if you got an older generation Crown Vic or Grand Marquis, the non-PI blocks really didn't put out a whole lot of power. These, the performance improved ones, the PI ones, they they do decent. It's not it's it's not bad. It's 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 you got enough power, but it's still, I mean, it's still a slouch. I'm not going to lie, but. You know, it's it's a comfortable daily. Um, but, you know, as far as, you know, minor things break on these cars, you go, I could wreck this thing tomorrow, go to a junkyard, and I guarantee I could find one the exact same color, throw all the parts of my car, and it's done. For, like, 150 bucks, Probably even less. I don't know. But it's just, like... I, I don't even know what to say. Like, as far as these things go with reliability and the little performance I have, the handling's pretty, actually pretty decent, this thing. I mean, you could just, I mean, you could take some corners in this car. Um, my biggest thing, 
you have all you can have all this fun in a daily and still get like 20 to 25 miles a gallon now if you get your foot in it yeah you might you might get 15 you know but realistically this is just my cruiser man this is what gets me back and forth to work every day you know I got five million other other cars I can drive this is just my daily going to work it gets good great gas mileage it's got a 16 gallon gas tank in it you know if I went to I could fit eight people in this thing it's great you know it's 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 the party car you got a trunk that you know you can put like five million subs in the back plus you know all your beer all your tools I mean <laughs> whatever you want I mean you, I mean literally I think you could probably fit six people in the back of that trunk I'd, I'd actually love to try this out one day maybe you know get some of my friends over we'll have a little bonfire drink a few beers and see how many people we can stuff in the back of my trunk but it's like you know I uh for you car guys out there that are watching this, I would je definitely recommend, you know, don't look past these as dailies. I I'm the kind of guy, I like my play toys, I like my race car, I like my classic cars, I like my trucks, I like, you know, all the five million cars I've ever owned, but at the end of the day, as far as the daily goes, this is one car where I feel like I've modified it tastefully, spent like little to no money, with window tint, wheels, blacking out some lights, um, debadging it, and just clean this thing up. I mean, as far as that goes, I mean, like I don't, I don't really feel like the car looks that bad. But at the same time, if I get a scratch or ding on it, I'm not gonna go crying about it. It's a 2002 Grand Marquis. It's a reliable car. It gets me from A to B. You know, it, it, it actually does pretty well in snow and in rain. And it's just been ridiculously reliable. Um, you know, like I said, my family's owned this car since 2002. This is, this car's had little to no work done on it. it. It's really needed nothing. So, I mean, as far as that goes, I, I would definitely recommend one of these. Um, rating it out of, you know, speed and acceleration. <sighs> Man, I don't know. I, I, I'm going to have to say I'll give it a... <sighs> I mean, I, I'm, I don't want to be rough on it because it's my car, but I'm going to give it a three and a half. Um, it's okay. It, it, it has... It can improve a lot. Um, handling... I'll give it a five. I'll give it a five out of handling. Um, reliability, ten. Ten all day long. Um... I mean, I, I literally, this car really requires no maintenance whatsoever. Um, in the future here, I will be doing a review on my Trans Am. When? I don't know. It's currently in storage right now. So, I know a few of you have been asking me to do an exhaust video since I, I uh, installed that True Dual X pipe on that car. Um, I will get to that eventually. You know, hopefully within the next year. Um... <laughs> I also am hoping, this is to you Matt, fix your Mustang, because uh, I asked him if I could do a car review on his Mustang, and uh, I, won't, I won't spoil it, but it's a, uh, it's a pretty unique car. It was recently um, twisted the drive shaft, so it's really not drivable right now, but um, hopefully we, we uh, can make that happen. And he also recently bought my 95 Taurus, with a 3.8 liter V6 that my family also bought brand new. Um, and that is his new daily, so that's pretty neat. But um, I, I will be having some more how-to videos and some more car reviews here coming up. But uh, for now, I uh, appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and sorry for the long wait. Like I said, I'm just a busy guy and you know, this just happened to be, you know, a, easy quick video to do so I uh, hopefully we'll uh, get another one out to you guys next week and um, I'll go over a little bit more on some how-to mods and f-bodies uh, the next one we are gonna do is the radio mod for the auxiliary cord tying it into the CD player feed um, that will be the next mod and um, I think after that well, I guess the weather depending, we might do the wire tuck mod. That one is just really quick because I can't really, 
I, I, I don't know. I don't see how it would be take me that long to explain it to you because, I mean, if you can't understand it in the three-minute video I'm going to show, I don't know how you're going to get it. I don't see the point in you watching me cut a hole in the fender, so, or down the fender well, the inner fender well. So, it's, it's a pretty cut and dry mod. It's super easy. It's not rocket science. Um, but I think we're going to do those two here. So, stay tuned. I appreciate you guys' patience, and I will uh, look forward to hearing your feedback. Thanks.